What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and this is your Monday Report. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Starting today, the Writing Center will be open during seminars. Sessions will take place in W6 and end on Friday. FCCLA is having a fundraiser to get to nationals. They are selling burritos until the 23rd. Email Miss Jones to order. Laptop check-in starts next week. Make sure and clean and back up your device. More information is posted on Schoology. Juniors, don't forget that there is a competition to design a t-shirt for your class. The deadline for submissions is next Thursday. For more information, go to your Class Schoology page. Now over to atmospheric scientist Josh Duncan to see when we'll be back with 80 degree weather. Happy Monday! Over the weekend, we had about a third of an inch of rain. That's pushed our monthly total up to 1.81 inches above normal. But the good news is that over the next week, we should get a lot of dry time and that should get us closer to where we should be for the month of May. So mostly sunny skies this week, 80s return for Tuesday, and then most of the week is dry, but we do track returning chances for showers and thunderstorms by Saturday. So. A big ridge of high pressure is going to develop over the central plains and that means several days with not only warmer conditions but a chance to dry out as well and as you, as you can see here on the SBTV 7 day forecast coming up well we will hit 90s possibly for heat and disease on Thursday and that will go along with air temperatures in the 85 degree range very warm conditions and mostly sunny skies. Clouds begin to increase Friday, and then storms are possible on Saturday. We'll have to watch if that'll come along with the potential for some severe weather. Stay tuned throughout the week with SVTV Weather. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow, the Urban Explorers will be back. Have a great rest of your day.